Hello everyone and welcome to highlights of this Southwest Regional Women's Eastern Division clash between Bath City and Stockwood Wanderers from Twerton Park. It's the third successive Sunday here for Matter Braves team who were unbeaten at Twerton since February. Last week's win over Ridgeway moved them up to fourth in a tightly packed division. Leading the way are today's opposition. Having finished bottom last term, Stockwood have got off to a 100% winning start this time in the league finishing their fourth win in a row last Sunday at home to Froome. Their 6-1 success was from a goal behind. Two of their three wins have been from losing positions so far. The Bristol-based outfit have had eight ever presents in their five league and cup matches and arrived with a squad of 16 today. Top scorer and captain Tony Blenkinsop is back in the starting 11, with Lola Bassett also reinstated, having been on the bench last week. Erin Valls and Abigail Rain make way. Matabreu has five members of last week's squad unavailable and has Libby Gota back to start alongside Emily Dello in attack. The bench includes three development squad players. One of them, Jasmine Rennie, made her debut for that team last week, scoring in a 13-0 win over Hutton. Commentary for this game is provided by Bar City women's midfielder Liv Davis alongside Mark Stillman. And we are underway as Bar City kick off. Stockwood Wanderers attacking towards the Bristol end. Touch for Phillips. A good win last week, which I'll, I'll get back to in a moment, is Lauren Phillips. Possession for the visitors. Over to Andrade. Oh, I was fed back through to Andrade, and she goes a goal, but she shanks it wide as Seagrove covers for the hosts. Go to. Taylor tried to run That's off. That's a brilliant. Really it's a brilliant run from Taylor. Trying to fend off defender. Great Still touch. Taylor. Great chance and is saved by the keeper. She did well I'm to get the better. Bassett and uh, in the end a good save from Jenna Lou Bedford. Now go to quite find Black. There's Nilo Black and against Hall. But good defending from the stopper player. Grace Phillips. Oh, it's given away though at the back from Bassett to Taylor yeah. and she has a go and it's uh, gathered in the end from Bedford. Uh, Taylor with the first real tests for the visiting stopper so far. She's keen to end that goalless strike. She hasn't scored since uh, that. No, she'll thing. definitely be looking um, for a goal. <laughs> go to now near the edge of the box. Go to goes the curler and it's uh, just wide. Keeper at it covered. But certainly more threat on goal from Bar City so far. Gota's got the ball now. Go away from her marker. Still Gota wants to go alone to Dello, who's offside. Puts it wide anyway. And I didn't Gota, think she'd go alone with that, actually. I completely end. agree. I thought she should have shot on her own. She was very unselfish. Stockwood back in possession with Grace Phillips. No, Blenkinsop. A turn away from trouble from Paul. And forces a shot, but... Black does well to take the sting out of it, and it's an easy gather for Sadie Farley. Stockwood looking for five wins out of five, and it's a raking shot in the end, which Farley is comfortable to see go harmlessly wide. Curtis has got there first. Wait for the ball to go out of play, and we'll finally get back to that point by last week's game. Taylor with a crunching challenge. challenge, and now she's got Gota away. Gota tries to go around the keeper, the keeper does exceptionally well. But it's out as far as Dello. They're trying that same ball, City. It will come off eventually, I'm sure, but she's robbed from... I did think she just it? about got there. <laughs> Black. Scampers, keeps it in. Towards Harris, and it's a bit of miscommunication, I think, between defender and goalkeeper. It's not fully cleared. Dello gets it in. It's now Gota trying to make half a yard, and no, she's snuffed out. Now Taylor volleys it over the top. A goal from... Tony Blenkinsop, the leading scorer, leading scorer last year as well. Here's Gota, now Taylor again. Tries to get there before Andrade, covering right forward. Adelo, too close to the goalkeeper, who fists it away and very courageous to get there before Gota. But Bar City asking some real questions now. Combined nature to lower than mine. Makes me feel a whole lot better about myself. <laughs> as Phillips goes for a raking shot. Farley, oh, he's hit the stanchion, it's gone wide. It's out for a cold kick. Momentarily panicked, I think. Sadie Farley, who was uh, covering a near post well, but a speculative effort nearly comes off. Unfortunately, the City, it 
it goes wide. But it heart and mouth time, was it? Yeah, a couple of um, shots they've had from that distance now. Rennie's been dispossessed. And another curling one, and that's well taken from Farley. And snuffed out well. Good control from Goten. Rides the challenge. Two challenges. She's done well to stay on her feet there. Exceptional balance. Delo's tried to run off her. Goten's try and go on her own. Still Goten on. Oh. Let down in the last moment. She, uh, she penalised for obstruction, I think, because she always sort of sat on top of the ball. Goten. Now Taylor. She might fancy a go, Taylor. It's too close to Kipu. Nerdy fumbles it. Andrade now. Blankensop's in the middle. It's a great ball in towards Blankensop. Headed away though from Bellotti. City still trying to get it away. And Dello has to do some defending. But it's not fully cleared. And it's a shot and it's just gone wide. Out for a goal kick. Gathered from Farley. And indeed that's the end of the first half. It's Bath City women nil. Stockwood Wanderers nil. But it's a free kick and... Uh, Although it doesn't look a dangerous position, Bellotti scored from here in the first game of the season. Yeah, this time I thought she'd be on now. She's gone for a cross and it's headed wide from uh, Ashley Harris Hall making a nuisance of herself in the six-yard box. Now they all charge forward towards Blenkinsop who meets it at the front post and she can only direct it over the bar. But it felt like that was a pre-planned routine. Doesn't quite come off. Instead, it's going to be Phillips. Goes for goal, so it almost kicks the grind. I think she didn't get full purchase on it and it's... Uh, an easy gather, but again, Liv Bassey restricting them to shots from well outside the box. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she did well to get past a few players there, but... Another uh, ambitious one from... <laughs> yeah, she likes those, doesn't she? Grace Phillips. Yeah, I don't think you want to do too many changes at this stage. Dello's done well, is held, but Gota's away. The referee plays a good advantage. Gota now goes a goal and she's deliciously lofted it into the back of the net. That was a great goal from Libby there. Credit to the referee as well who let the play go on and Gota so composed, saw the keeper was off her line, beautifully dinks it over her in the 50th minute. Varsity won, Stockwood nil. And as you said, Liv, a cracking finish. Yeah, that was a cracking goal. Just um, chipped the keeper there. I did think she was going to um, try and lob the keeper or she was going to go round her, but yeah, great goal. Well, that's uh, broken the deadlock. Libby Gota's first goal since the opening day. And they've certainly upped the tempo a little bit, Stockwood. And they, uh, you can tell they've gone a goal down. Energy level's risen a tad more. And so now in possession with Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh goes to goal, too close to Farley, and uh, she dives on the loose ball as well before Blenkinsop can capitalise. Harvey and Curtis getting each other's way. Great. Oh, and then he got through. Just about to get through. Looks certain to set Gota on her way. Right. Good interception there from Paul. Not a bad ball either to Gota. Taylor. She's got a bit of time. She knows she's got the legs on this defence. Uh, that worked out well. Yeah, great 50-50. She's got the better of it to Dello. Goes to goal and it's a good parry at a near post from Bedford. She had Taylor and Harris waiting in the middle, tried to catch out the goalkeeper. Again, we've got one member of the Stockwood coaching staff. He's really irate at some season, so he wouldn't have had the best view of. And oh. Taylor nearly went through again, covering from Seagro. They are doing well to cut out that ball because we are looking for that one. Yeah, they've certainly uh, been a stiffer tough defensively than Ridgeway but now Taylor trying to get away again Seagrove does enough to put her off but she's gone down Taylor to Goten it's well cleared from Baldwin doesn't quite come off giving the ball away now to Marsh well read from Pierce that's, that's what she's been brought on there to do that's it that's a good ball to Blenkinsop forced wide she's got Whitmarsh in the middle Head to the edge of the box though to Phillips and it's an easy gather and Phillips can pick out a teammate. It's a great ball in and an equally decent head away from Gray. Back to Phillips. Got the better of Wright. Behind everyone and it's Valves with a shot and it's gone way off target. Up to Whitmarsh. Yeah. It's a free kick in. Not sure she could do much about that though. Was it Pierce penalised? 
Yeah, I think for a um, handball, I think obviously it's coming straight to her face. I think natural reaction, she might have just put her hand up for that. There's Farley banks up and down the line. Four or five players now in the wall. Phillips does shoot. Unstoppable into the roof of the net. Stockwood level. That was a great goal. Their bench salutes in front of the main stand here at Twerton Park. And yeah, that was perfectly placed. Two goals in two games and Grace Phillips makes it. 1-1 one, one, and uh, you have to say it was a terrific goal. Yeah, I've got to give that one to her. Like you said, you didn't want to, um, you don't want to give them that, a free kick on the edge of the box like that because, um, yeah, they'll punish you as she has there. <laughs> That's a tricky ball in towards Whitmarsh. Bellotti needs to get it away. She's not fully got it away. Blankensop can't force it in and a bit of a scramble in there. Bellotti just helps it away out of harm's way. Still the chances for Stockwood, but no, excellent. Defending from Gray and uh, just make sure that Stockwood don't have time to score. She's gone for the former. But there's no time for Stockwood to mount another attack. It ends all square. Bar City won. Stockwood Wanderers won. City led through Libby Goethe's delightful finish on 55 minutes. Cancelled out by a scintillating free kick from Grace Phillips high into the roof of the net. Earns them a share of the spoil. The right result for me. Both teams were very well matched. Bow City are still unbeaten at home. Their decent start to the season goes on. And uh, Liv Davis, your evaluation of that game, please. Yeah, I thought it was a great game, competitive game. I think obviously at times I'll be biased and say, obviously I do think that we um, we deserve the win. But um, yeah, we were um, we were close, and yeah, it was um, it was well matched. I think obviously um, Stockwood just came back in the second half and. Um, Got that um, unfortunate free kick, um, which obviously yeah, limited us the amount of time to, um, to get a goal back. But yeah, great game overall.